In this video, I'll tell you how I made a robot car from Legos. And also how I wasted 2000 bucks on a robotics competition. Bro. What? Wanna enter this cool robotics competition? Oh, for sure, bro. Yeah, you have to also pay two grand to enter. Wait, what? Rogue Fest is the biggest robotics competition in my country, and for the past four months, me and a few other people have been working for the competition. So when I entered the training area, I found this. This is an EV3. A device made by LEGO which you can program. It has 8 ports, 4 for motors and 4 for sensors. And because it's made by LEGO, you can use LEGO bricks, beams, axles, whatever this is, to create a body that you place the device in. And with that, you can create stuff like cars, robots, complete and other abominations and other stuff too. And this is Spy. The AV3 is better looking cause it. it has better programming software, more flexible ports, and looks nicer. But we're using the AV3 anyways. <laughs> On day one, we started learning about EV3, spikes, etc. This is me by the way. And then we started programming. As I said, we're using the EV3 instead of Spike. And the EV3 has, um, Three ways of programming. One, programming with Python. Two, programming with scratch blocks. And three, programming with the EV3's native programming app made by Lego, which looks like absolute and other shit. We chose the native app. Don't talk to me, I'm feeling sad right now. Robofest is split into three lanes. Game, sumo, and art. The art lane is just robots doing, um, uh, art? What the Probably. was that explained? Anyways. Sumo is just robots fighting it out until one loses, basically fight club for LEGO. And game is the lane we're going with. In short, you make a robot car that delivers three white balls <laughs> that delivers three passengers to their respective boxes. And also a fourth ball which is basically food. Now we're gonna talk about the game plan. I don't know, I was trying to do a Ryan train impression and uh, uh, let me just let me just take the camera. Anyways, I'ma explain how we're gonna do it. And because my dumbass forgot to record anything, not even a clear image of a robot, I opened this software called Virtual Robotics Toolkit and started designing the robot. Of course, the design had had many changes over like 4 months, so I'ma just make the latest one. And with the design done, I can now explain... Alright, let's start. The robot starts here. There is a code in front of it, which is basically 3 bits, which the robot scans. And using math, we can convert these three bits into decimal. And the point of this is to know where passenger 3 is going, A, B, or C. And using this staple chart, we can see which decimal value corresponds with which of the three boxes. Anyways, after deciding on passenger 3, the robot rotates and goes to the edge. Now, here's the hard part. Rotations. You can rotate a set number of rotations for a robot, but, but, here's the thing. 360 degrees does not mean that the robot will rotate 360 degrees. So we need to make sure that the robot actually rotates the way we want. Here comes the gyro sensor. It tells us basically the angle of the robot relative to a starter angle. And by making the robot turn on the motors until the gyro reading gets to the angle we want, we now have hopefully accurate rotation. After that, the robot goes to the edge. But you might ask, how do we know what's an edge and what's not? Of course, we're gonna use another sensor, which is this. This is an infrared sensor. It basically shoots a ray to whatever surface it's facing, and based on the intensity of the ray, we can now determine if we're standing on an edge or not. If the reading on it is close to something like 10 or less, then it's probably black or an edge. After explaining all that, the robot will rotate and go to the edge. Now, Devanella, what will you do if the angle was inaccurate or the robot just commits suicide? Well, that's why we use a line follower. In a line follower, the robot just uses the infrared sensor to calculate the direction to go to. So if the infrared sensor is facing an edge, it will move away from it. And if it's not facing an edge, it will move to the edge. Loop that until we reach the black line. And that's it. Now the robot came into a collision with the first boss, the first passenger. Now let's talk about the arm. From the many different arm designs on YouTube, we chose this one. Why? 
I don't know, I, I honestly like this one better, but eh. Yeah. Anyways, this room has two motors. One that makes it go up and down, and one makes it open and close. How does it work? Why are you asking me? I I I was the one doing the coding. I was not building the robot. Doing basically, the just I was not the robot. The robot. The robot. Basically, just learn physics, brother boy. So to pick up something, we can just make the arm go down, pick up the passenger, and make it go back up. And with that, the make mechanics of the robot are done. Now we're gonna start speeding up a bit. Passenger one should go to C. So when the robot picks it up, it line follows to the edge and then rotates and then goes to the middle. Then it rotates again and because we want the robot to put passenger one on the upper floor of C, we are not going to put it down. We're just going to poop. With passenger one done, we now have three bots. Anyways, the bot now goes to passenger two using stuff we already talked about. Now passenger 2 is an interesting case, as we don't get told where it's going until like 30 minutes before the competition. So you know what that means. That's right, we make all three stages, A, B and C. Let's start with A. Because A is literally just next to passenger 2, the robot just drops it. The yellow ball in the middle here is the food, and it should always be put into passenger B according to the rubric. So the robot just takes the food, which is literally just right next to it, and takes it to B. Oh, what's that? Let me just zoom in. Oh, it's to subscribe. And speaking of subscribing, I've challenged my school so if I hit 10k before the end of the month, the official school group icon will be turned into Fred. So to spread the joyful spirit of Fred, subscribe to the channel and comment what you want, I always read your comments. Anyways, for passenger B, the robot just rotates and takes both the food and the passenger and just kicks him into passenger B. And as for passenger C, it just goes like this, basically it's the opposite of where we're going and takes the food and pokes it back in, because it's literally right next to it. And as you can see, from all three states, we just end up in passenger B. So the robot can just go from passenger B to... Wait, have I been saying... Okay, so I just realized that I have been saying passenger B, which I meant box B, and... and like... Uh, uh, kill. As you can see, the robot always ends up in box B, so it can just go to passenger 3 from there. And now passenger 3 is decided by the code we scanned at the start. So there is nothing new with passenger 3, it's just a Swiss statement where we go to any of the three boxes depending on the code. And with that, the game plan is done. Hi. Now for the first three months, progress was slow. It was school days, exams, and we were mostly goofing <laughs> off. <laughs> Boy. Anyways, the days before the competition, we were doing pretty good on the robot, and it was working fine, until, uh... So basically, in my dream, uh, as there, I was eating a burger, and like, th there was that way... Why are you pointing this way? Wait... Wait, no, 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 no! No... Yeah, that was not good. The robot was fully dismembered and we had to reassemble it again. And because we changed a lot of things like the size, how the arm works, well not really, we just changed the size too, etc. We rewrote the whole code. I wanna kill my- When I entered the competition, the first bad thing happened. The shirt was too small. Guys, I'm- I'm-, I'm Guys, this is not this is not Excel. I'm pretty sure that I'm pretty sure it's not Excel. I'm not that fat guy. Oh come on. Anyways, when we entered the main ground, this was the last footage before um they sadly took our phones. Why even do it? Received a paper with something called the game ending task, and also where passenger two is going. But returning to the game ending task, it's basically a task that the robot should do at the end of the game. Good explain. Anyways, the task was to do some math with using the three bits from the code. Pretty simple. What's not so simple is what happened in the first round. So we'll, let me just demonstrate it. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Dragon Ball Z. Wait, wait, no, that, that's the wrong thing. Welcome to the robotics competition hosted by Lorenzo Ca Robo Fest. Um, what is the free popcorn? Anyways, the first round starts in three, two, one, go! Man, what the- Anyways, first round wasn't the best, because one thing, the line for was sped up like 5 minutes before the actual round start, causing the robot to just get stuck on the edge when it rotates. A simple tweak to it caused it to work fine, but like, 
to be honest, it, I was playing Minecraft, so uh, anyways, then came round 2, the robot did everything as it should until it went to passenger 3. Not cool. And with that, we finished the competition. Now guess, after um, two failed rounds, what rank do you think we got? That's right, first in programming, baby! Yeah! Look at your happy fella right- uh, wait, wait, what? What, 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 huh? Uh, who recorded this? Who recorded this? I, 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 I look- I'm not even on the stage. I did not pay 2000 bucks. Anyways, what did I learn from this experience? Number one, Lego suck, quoted by my foot. Number two, I'm not paying any money for a competition again. That's why this video is sponsored by me. You can become a channel member by joining. You get early access to videos and leaks. I get a little bit of money, which will help me make more videos like this. Anyways, thanks for watching. Like, like, dislike, if dislike, check my social down below. And as always, bye.